It, it is the subject of co-creation is really what it is and as you are interacting on your own many of you discover that when you learn about the laws of the universe when you learn about law of attraction when you learn about this energy stream when you learn about the call of source when you learn about the relationship of your emotions and the indicators that they are about your alignment and when you figure out how to find thoughts that cause you to go with the flow rather than push against the current you can get very good at having joyful experiences we've been talking about how as you learn to close this gap and come into vibrational alignment with who you are that then your life experience is certainly enhanced but the true satisfaction of life experience is to come into alignment and then co-create with others and so while you certainly can have any experience it is easier really to come into alignment by withdrawing from others because there is a tendency when you start co-creating with others especially the larger your sphere of others becomes to find more and more things about them that aren't a vibrational match to who you think you are or what you think you want so there is less tendency to push against or to flow upstream if there are fewer people around you so what we're saying is it's easier to come into alignment with source when you are withdrawing from the things that might take you out of alignment but one once you've shown yourself how easy it is under any and all condition to come into alignment with source then you can have the glorious experience of getting out there and mixing it up with others and letting the co-creation with others help you and them add to the vibrational escrow which is what the expansion of the universe is all about Jerry had a recent experience where he read in a book that was given to him the idea that when you see something that is offensive to you or something that is upsetting to you don't just pull away from it instead make peace with it in a sense and we said to him we've been talking about that for a while haven't we because if you see something that is bothersome and you just look away from it you leave the vibration right where it was you don't do anything about bridging it and while you could look at many other things and cause better feeling things to be the dominant activation within your vibration still that's active in your vibration it's right where you last left it and when it comes up again you're going to recoil again and you're going to recoil again and you're going to recoil again our encouragement is to get out there and mix it up with others mix it up with ideas don't be afraid or guarded to get out there where you might see something that you might not like instead let yourself see it but when you see it understand that everything has more sides to it than just the one that you're seeing and as you look at it whatever it is it might be a crippled child it might be someone that is misbehaving it might even be someone who is lying to you or deceiving you or treating you wrong in some way look at it but don't fight against the current instead ask yourself how would my inner being approach this subject how is my inner being seeing this what aspect of you does my inner being see and as you start to look at it in that way what happens is you begin to let that broader part of you find the positive aspects in whatever you are looking at because everything has what is wanted and lack of it within it and as you find what is wanted you come back into alignment while you are still having this experience and now you are having a broader experience of alignment rather than a narrow experience of alignment ah, aligning with who you are and then co-creating with others is the very best and when you reach the place that you don't need to demand of them that they be in alignment when you play with them because you are now you've got it that's what the art of allowing is allowing them whether they allow me or not because then the whole world is your oyster now protectionism isn't an issue for you now you don't have to run and hide from anything now you are in alignment with you so your point of attraction is stable so the universe cannot yield to you anything other than that which is the best for you and now you are free to go anywhere that you want to go without guardedness because law of attraction does not bring to you that which you are not you see and your world is expansive and broad oh the best description of law of allowing ever that was very satisfying thank you <laughs> mm. 
sometimes people, once they begin getting the hang of alignment, and they get tuned in, tapped in, turned on, they're feeling pretty good. Then they say, but those people at work are so negative. <laughs> and we say, and in your awareness of that, you're no longer tuned in. And that's why you resent them. And that's why you don't want to go there anymore because you think they make you do that. And we want you to understand nobody makes you do anything. You have control of how you feel. Stop giving them the power.